so I'm back I just stopped there on the driving school because they're cool and uh, there was a friend of mine there which rides and he bought a 600 uh, Suzuki GSXR 600 from 2002 I actually test rode this bike once and it was meh, meh just faster much faster than mine obviously it was fast but it was really bad I, I, not my kind of bike and um, at the same time I think that I test rode the uh, R6 from another friend of mine which that friend of mine crashed it doing a wheelie I actually have it on tape but out of the respect and he asked me to it's more like he asked me to I didn't publish it, publish it on YouTube he actually crashed on this road right here I'm gonna show you where he completely destroyed the, the R6 that R6 is now thrash it, it has the engine and front wheel okay and then everything else is completely broken but anyway that guy that I was telling you about from the, uh, the guy with the Suzuki he crashed he crashed <laughs> he did not crash it he um, was caught doing 220 kilometers an hour in a 50 kilometers an hour zone which resulted in a well no license <laughs> so he's retaking it oh, I thought this was shaking it was a knot oh, I'm going to slow so he crashed it right here I'm gonna put my glove on because I don't know what I'm doing uh, neutral and um, we are actually going out for a group ride I have this on tape but I'm not gonna show you maybe uh, no he told me not to uh, we are leaving the um, coffee right over there and um, we are coming down this road like five of us and he decides to pull a wheelie because he, he pulled a lot of wheelies which went way back than he wanted he, the bike shook and then hit there those marks are the bike the crash spun hit there on those marks spun again in the air and crashed there which then stopped right there so it was about 15 meters 15 meters between all the spun so he went up like the front wheel up then he took uh, he, he got way too up and, bef and he didn't brake he took the um, leg out of the stand so the bike did this then after it doing that did this he jumped because he, he grabbed onto it then as it turned boom. and as it turned like this it threw him like the bike did went like this this and then threw him like that he landed on his head he doesn't remember the whole day he only knows he crashed because well the bike has crashed him because he has injuries because he wasn't wearing gloves because he's an idiot and they have the video the bike did this then crashed on its top like the handlebars which got indented into the floor like the um, adjustment for the suspension got, got indented into the pavement we were taking that off with a um, screwdriver because that didn't come out the um, bike then spun again in the air the, the, the wheels never touched the ground but again it it again on the handlebar it completely destroyed everything turned again the, the um, fuel tank which was completely full jumped out crashed into the vineyard on the like this like the five meters up it went like 10 meters in the air and then crashed into a vine which broke it in half and started pouring fuel out everywhere the bike then spun again hit the ground and completely shattered everything I was behind it and it completely shattered the bike the bike completely screwed and the um, I can show you a picture of the bike actually and the well there was no subframe no back wheel the back wheel was there but was completely twisted there was no subframe there was 
uh, no seed, no ECU, I got the ECU out of the vineyard too, it was next to the tank, which there wasn't any on the bike either, um, and it filled my bike with spray from the gasoline, I didn't notice, and uh, my screen is now um, has little marks from his petrol, and I, I got bummed about that, I, yeah. Uh, the bike completely shattered everything, broken, the subframe went to the other side of the street, yeah, it was completely destroyed, so total loss. The radiator came out, everything came out, it just broke. And um, he got, he had no gloves, so he got the ends all fucked up. Really, really bad, because he's like 120, 130 kilometers an hour, he completely destroyed his end. His helmet got completely screwed, but it saved him because he would have died. And he had a 800 dollar, 800 euro, they need a jacket, mm, better than mine, so it was a racing jacket. And it completely protected him on the back and so, but he got completely scuffed. And yeah, nothing else on, he had pants, normal pants and normal shoes, which completely ripped, obviously. So he got an injured foot, legs and hands and a head, because the head he doesn't remember the day. Got and bleeding from the um, teeth and the, from the mouth and everything. Um, then uh, he had bought that equipment like 1500 euros worth of equipment, like jacket, le um, pants, and boots. And he then brought anything but the jacket <laughs> and he didn't buy the gloves. So, yeah, he got wrong on that. And uh, it was 18 years old with an R6, it was bound to happen, it was always pulling wheelies and it was bound to happen, that's why I don't do them, except on the Vespa. And um, the other guy with the Suzuki, he got, uh, I don't know how he did not get arrested, he paid 500 euros and the bike was impounded, which he paid even more to get it home again, and he had to retake his driving lesson driving test because he got banned from driving motorcycles and because his friend was in the cops and they didn't let him lose the car driver license because everything was gonna go because he was caught doing 220 kilometers an hour which is like 130 miles on a 50 zone which is a 30 mile an hour zone which is just stupid but well, that road is actually a very big straight, which is a 30, but it's really big, nobody does it at a 30. That was a water jug. I'm gonna get it. So it was bound to happen. But... Yeah, happens. Just hope it doesn't happen to me, because I don't have 500 euros. I'm not leaving this garbage here. I'm taking it home with me. Or to a garbage disposal thing. So, yep. I'm, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna empty it. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> No, it don't fall. Please don't fall. No. No. I cannot get the hook. <sighs> okay, road blazer out with this faffing about with this water thing. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>